What's up, Bailey here. And for those who don't know me, I'm a virtual assistant, OBM, and mentor for people who want to start their own virtual assistant business. I left my toxic nine to five four years ago and since then have built a business that I'm proud of, that provides me the freedom that I desire and that pays the bills to boot. And I'm here to show you how you can do it too. Over the years, I have used a lot of software and tools in my business. Some have been amazing and some not so much but I've compiled a list of my 20 favorite tools for online businesses. Oh, and did I mention that they're free? It's likely that you won't need to use all of these tools, and some categories I have a few options for you to choose from, but I've used all of them in some capacity, and some of them I still use in my business. Now let's start with something that every virtual assistant and business owner needs, a project management tool. Asana is a great tool if you have multiple team members and projects on the go. It allows you to break things down into projects, sections, tasks, and subtasks. You can also create different projects for different clients, and the free version of Asana allows you access to a lot of great features. ClickUp is another great tool and the one that I use in my business, although I am on the paid version because I've exceeded my storage use. However, I used the free plan for a very long time and was able to create different workspaces, add my clients, create templates for them, manage all of my projects, and do everything that other project management tools have. ClickUp has so many different features, it would take me a while to list them off, but trust me when I say it is a great platform to use. Moving on to some key software to use when you're just starting your business. These next few tools are things that you might not have thought of, but trust me when I say that they come in handy. Voxer is a walkie-talkie type app that allows you to send voice messages, text, photos, GIFs, and emojis. It's great to use with your clients to communicate outside of meetings when you need clarification. It saves you time and money while still being at the forefront of communication with your clients. LastPass is a password sharing software and is an extension that is used on your Mac or PC. It allows your clients to share your passwords with you without you actually knowing their password, if they so choose. It also allows you to store all of your passwords in one place. I suggest that you use this tool for not only your clients, but for yourself as well. Toggle is a time tracking software that allows you to generate reports for your clients, see how many hours you're working in a day, specify the projects and tasks that you're doing, and did I mention that there's an extension for that too, so that you're able to track all of your time without having to have a tab open all the time, because we all know that there's too many of those open. Loom is a screen recording software. It allows you to record your screen or a video of you walking through a task, asking questions, or showcasing your work to your client. It is a great tool for any visual learner or client. There is a five minute limit on your videos and a 25 video cap, but if you keep things short and sweet, you should be good for a while. Calendly is a simple and easy to use scheduler. You should have a calendar for clients to book calls with, either discovery calls or meetings for existing clients. It allows you to customize and connect to your calendar, create screening questions for qualifying clients, and is very easy to use. Google Drive is a great place to store all of the work that you're doing for clients, and you can give them access to it during and after you've completed your work for them. It's also good to store your contracts, receipts, and invoices in Google Drive. Next up, we have some helpful legal and accounting software that are a must-have in any business. While you don't necessarily need to use these tools specifically, you should have something along these lines for your business. Wave is a basic accounting and invoicing tool. It allows you to customize your invoices, send them to clients along with reminders, and track your expenses to see the financial health of your business. HelloSign is a contract sending software that allows you to create and add your contract template and send it to your clients for signature. It will also send them a copy and allow you to sign it yourself. As a note, HelloSign only allows three contracts per month on their free plan. Let's stop here for a minute and take some time to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you're enjoying this video, then please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you are leaning towards offering social media services or just want to step up your own social media game, these next few tools are going to be important pillars in your arsenal. Canva is a must have if you're creating graphics of any kind. You can also create posters, business cards, logos, videos, presentation. The list is endless. The free plan allows you access to thousands of templates for each design and the ability to customize is out of this world. Creator Studio is a great scheduler if you're looking to schedule Facebook or Instagram posts and stories. It allows you to schedule right from your Facebook account 
is free and doesn't hurt your reach or engagement because it is a metaverse owned product. For other platforms, you might want to try Buffer for scheduling. It is the easiest to use and they still offer a free plan that allows you to connect with one or two accounts, depending on the type of account you choose. Ystamp is a hidden gem that I found that allows you to create professional and eye-catching email signatures. It allows you to add a photo, information about yourself, your social media profiles, and anything else that you need to create a great email signature. And then it adds it directly to your email. Easy peasy. Unsplash is a great stock photo site to help you with social media and to generate photos. I know that we can't always go out and take a photo of the sunset or someone working at a desk. That's where Unsplash comes in. They have hundreds of thousands of great photos available from very talented photographers. Now, we've got to make sure that you get paid, and while these next few platforms are completely free because they do have transaction fees, they are the best ones to use, in my opinion. Stripe is a payment processing software, and it can do it all. You can create recurring monthly payments, send out invoices, collect in different currencies, create products, etc. They do take the standard fees, but they also allow bank payments, which is only a $5 fee no matter what the transaction amount. For the ease, it is worth all of the fees. Venmo is another mobile payment service that allows you to transfer funds if you're within the US. It makes payments and transfers very easy, but it doesn't have all of the extra features like invoicing and products. Wise, previously known as TransferWise, is a great money transfer software. You can create different currency accounts if you work with clients outside of your home country. It will also transfer the money at a much higher rate than the bank, sometimes saving you hundreds if not thousands of dollars in the long run. We're almost done, but there are a few other admin type softwares that I love that I felt needed to be mentioned. You might not think of them at first, but you'd be surprised at how helpful they can be. Evernote is a note-taking software that you can create task lists, organize your notes, create different projects and folders for everything. If you're a note-taker, you should look into Evernote. Small PDF is a PDF conversion software. It easily converts a PDF into different formats. I know you might be thinking, who in the world needs that? You'd be surprised at how helpful this tool can be. Well, there we have it. There are the 20 best and mostly free tools to use for your business. I'd love to know if you have any other tools that you swear by. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the subscribe button below, smash that like button, and don't forget about the notification bell, which allows you to be the first to know when I post a new video. I create videos all about how to start your own virtual assistant business, and I get very real about the trials and tribulations of being a business owner. You don't want to miss it.